everyone. Ms. Dash, welcome back to library time or story time. I'm so excited to be with you all via the internet and all that. Today we have a very special story. That's a that's a Korean folk tale. Ooh, right. Uh, as you know, this uh, this month is Indigenous Peoples uh, Month, specifically Native Americans, but we're highlighting all oh, a bunch of different cultures. That's why today's story is called The Green Frogs. Very cute art, right? <laughs> all right, let's do it. It says, to my wonderful husband, Stephen. Oh, very cute. Okay, hey, here we go. Long, long ago, when tigers still smoked pipes, two green frogs lived with their mother in a lotus pond. The green frogs loved their mother, but they never obeyed her and always did the opposite of what she told them to do. Huh, rude. When spring arrived at the pond, the mother frog woke her sons. Rise and shine, spring is here she said. They, they grumpily pulled their blankets over their heads and wiggled their toes. I know how to get them up, Mother Frog thought. <laughs> Aw. You ever have trouble getting up in the morning? I know I do. She went to the kitchen and cooked a pot of duckweed soup, her son's favorite breakfast. Sure enough, the green frog smelled the delicious soup and in three jumps, they were in the kitchen. Please sit down, she said. Instead, the green frogs giggled and hopped around with their spoons. Listen to your mother. Well then, don't eat, said Mother Frog. Right away, the green frogs squatted down and gobbled up their soup. It was a messy breakfast. Mother Frog handed each of her sons a wet cloth and a broom. Now let's clean up, she said. But the green frogs lie, uh, tied the wet cloths around their heads and jumped up and down on the chairs, leaving footprints all over the kitchen. My goodness, she's, they're just making more mess, right? I'd be very angry if I was that Mother Frog. When Mother Frog finished cleaning up after her sons, she was tired. All she wanted to do was sit in the tall grass and read her book. The green frogs were hopping around chasing flies. Right away, the green frogs began to croak loudly. Oh, go, 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 go. That's not the right way to croak, said Mother Frog. We should have a croaking lesson. She opened her mouth wide and croaked. Go, 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 go. I don't know a frog sound really, but that was pretty funny. The green frog, but it was their turn. But when it was their turn, the green frogs again said it backwards. Kolka, kolka, kolka. Mother frog sighed. Ah, oh, they can't do anything right. Mother frog picked up her book and hopped back to the house. I won't say another word, she thought, but she couldn't help calling out to her sons. Don't get dirty. No sooner did the words leave her mouth than the green frogs jumped into the muddy end of the pond. They had a great mud fight. Mother Frog shook her head. That is the way it went through many springs and summers, many falls and winters. Whatever their mother said, the green frogs would do just the opposite. And they are in the pond. Oh, I really like that. But when Mother Frog was very old and sick, she knew she would soon die. She wanted to be buried on the sunny side of the hill. So she told her sons, please bury me in the shade by the stream. That after the mother frog died, her sons were very sorry they had never listened to her. They decided to obey her this one last time. The green frog monks buried her by the stream. Oh, that night it began to rain. Oh, one second. 
It rained for many days and nights, and the stream overflowed its banks. The green frogs began to worry that their mother's grave would wash away. They went to the stream and cried, gah, 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 gah. and they begged the stream, please don't wash mother's grave away. Please don't wash mother's grave away. And ever since then, when, whenever it rains, green frogs sit by streams and cry, gah, 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 gah. And in Korea, children who don't listen to their mother are called chonggeguri, or green frogs. There you go. Pretty cool story, right? Can't wait to hear what you guys think of it.